Well, thank you very much for introduction, and uh, uh, I'm very happy to be at this uh, very special event, uh, which celebrates the uh, uh, well 2018 Winter Olympics game, probably no, the enactment of the uh, uh, intellectual property uh, basic law. Well, today I, I'm talking. I, I will talk about the um, uh, open innovation and patents. Uh, the, the, basically, the innovation is very difficult term, and uh, people means a, a lot of different things associated with the um, uh, innovation. But today, I, I'm concentrating on the concept of open innovation and in relation to patents. Yeah, well, today I, I would like to discuss uh, uh, what the open innovation is, and the, uh, uh, I, I want to study the, the structures of open innovation. Uh, this is my basically my proposal based on the understanding that the, the pa what patent does uh, is is to give the uh, uh, framework for competition. Okay, so, so I, I want to associate. Uh, patents with, with competition. And this is one of the, the uh, key uh, themes of this today's presentation. And so I want to briefly look at closed and open innovation, open source, and, and the uh, competition and collaboration with, with in relation to the open innovation. And also I want to see some examples I, I picked up through my study and the, uh, the one is from the United States, and then this, is, this example comes from the manuf one of the manufacturers, one of the big manufacturers, I should say, P&G, you know, Procter & Gamble. And the, uh, another one is Research Institute, IMEC, uh, the, uh, in, in, in established in Belgium. And the, uh, another one is, is basically a fund, uh, from in, 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 the, in Japan. So we, we cover uh, very different corners of the world and with very different objectives, but they uh, are basically the, the concept that ties three organizations is, is open innovation. Well, the, the, the history of open innovation, um, that is not so long, but uh, what we now call open innovation is, of course, not new. I mean, it's, it's a basically the, uh, the collaboration between different entities, different companies, the, uh, the companies with research institutes, universities. And the, um, uh, that, that, that kind of thing always existed. But um, the uh, Henry Chesbro, uh, now at the uh, University of California, uh, formula, uh, formulated this, this concept of uh, open innovation, and uh, uh, that's where we started uh, really thinking about what is the open innovation. And the, uh, the first thing we have to think is, is the close innovation and open innovation. The, uh, basically, well, if you look at the, uh, most of the Japanese companies, they are based on closed innovation. They, they want to make uh, uh, some new product based on their uh, technology developed within the company and the uh, 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 manufacture those products uh, using their uh, production forces and they sell those uh, products using their sales forces. And that was the, um, uh, the successful uh, business model for, for most of the Japanese companies. And the, uh, the idea was that, that to have control over everything uh, from the uh, uh, research and the uh, manufacture and sales. And the, uh, uh, th that was very important uh, if, if the, uh, you want to have new products very quickly when uh, it takes time for others to provide any source of uh, 
uh, well, the starting materials or, or the uh, manufacturing processes or, or sales forces. But that has, seems to have changed. And the, um, uh, there is now the, the, the huge movement towards open innovation. And the emerging trend is that, that the, um, uh, especially in the area of um, uh, manufacturing, the increasing availability and, and mobility of skilled workers. Uh, and the, um, uh, also, we have uh, very good universities and research institutes and, and venture uh, companies which can provide uh, ideas to, to existing companies. And, and also in, on the supply side, uh, we have a lot of suppliers in the market so that the, uh, if you look around, you, ha you can get any material you want or you can ask your suppliers what kind of materials you want and you get them. Um, oh, the, another factor is, 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 of course, the venture capital market, which is growing very quickly. And uh, uh, that provides you know, small companies, but well, that, that uh, is, is the um, uh, source of small companies uh, that have very strong technological uh, backgrounds. And the, um, uh, so, so these factors put all together, uh, it seems that the, that the knowledge does not have to be uh, uh, owned by or, or developed by a single company. And, and you can go out and, and look for the um, knowledge and ideas from other sources other than uh, yourself. The people sometimes get confused with, with um, uh, open source and, and open innovation or, or free software or free something. Uh, the, 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 the term open or free seems to mean very similar things, but the, um, uh, of course the open source is, is very different. Um, because it is uh, within the, basically the structure of uh, uh, copyright protection and, and, and provides a fair basis for developing software uh, within uh, set rules. You know, uh, we, we discussed this yesterday, um, but uh, this is something uh, totally different from uh, open innovation, which is relates to the whole area of you know, company business. And the, uh, uh, well, these two concepts are not uh, mutually exclusive, and, and some uh, uh, aspects of open innovation and open source overlap, but they are different. So if we look at the uh, structure uh, of uh, closed and open innovation, we can get some ideas. As I said initially, uh, the patents uh, give uh, structure for competition. Okay. And, and, and that's, that's the, the, the basic um, idea that I, I want to propose today, and, and uh, well, we want to think about uh, during uh, this presentation. And the, uh, uh, as I said, old model is, is you know, cross innovation. And that's what uh, Japanese companies are very strong at. The, um, uh, you have different companies, company A, company B, and company C, and they develop you know, products uh, from the scratch and, and manufacture and sell. And, and so the axis of competition is between the, uh, uh, among these different companies, and they don't necessarily collaborate uh, very much. But that, as I said, have, have changed and, and is changing toward the uh, open innovation uh, environment. And the basically, uh, the companies collaborate each other, uh, with each other when they can. And, and how they do it is, is another uh, slide, but they, they collaborate. 
you know, with, with between the uh, different companies and also with uh, uh, research institutes and universities. But the, uh, uh, the, the important uh, point is this, the source of uh, profit. You, you have to uh, capitalize uh, your resources and, and you have to get the uh, profit at the end. And, and so there is always uh, competition among different companies. And so I have, I have this slide, uh, the basic collaboration, and, and at the end, in this picture, uh, we, 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 our companies compete with each other. Okay, so I if you look more into detail, uh, while the, uh, uh, the company A used to do the whole thing. You know, they do research on materials and, and study parts and, and produce products and sell and, and, and do the service for, for the uh, customers. And they, they, you know, competed at the every, 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 every level of, of their business with, with each other. But that has been changing. And, and now we can see the, um, uh, uh, the common base technology and, and roadmaps are basically, uh, well, it can be very similar. And, and we see a lot of patent pools appearing and also the uh, technical standards, uh, as we see in PEGS and other technical standards are available, and that forms the basis for the uh, collaboration. Uh, so, so the uh, the companies uh, collaborate, companies and university, and and of course uh, this includes research institutes. Uh, they they collaborate at the every can collaborate at every level of of their business, and um, but the, in the end, they, they have a new product and a new market out. And, and of course, they compete each other in this new market. The, um, um, another uh, way of looking at uh, the open innovation is inbound and outbound open innovation. Well, the, the basically, the, the inbound open innovation is, is to take something from other companies or other institutes into you, your company and, and use it for, for your own benefit. And, and probably uh, you have to give something back to uh, the other side. But the, uh, what, is, what we can see more often these days is open, uh, outbound type open innovation. And, and different companies put you know, their resources into one place within some kind of structure and format and, and the, uh, get result of uh, such collaboration back to their company. Oops. So um, as I mentioned at the beginning, we can see uh, a lot of examples these days uh, but the, um, I want to point out uh, Procter and Gamble uh, today, and, and it's a large company uh, based in the United States, and they have a lot of uh, major brands. Uh, they are available uh, in Japan, and, and I'm sure they are available in, in Korea as well. And the, uh, they have a lot of sales, and they have um, uh, a lot of profit. And the, uh, if you look at the, uh, on the patent side, uh, they have uh, 200 to 400 patents each year. Uh, this is the figure from the USPTO. And, and last uh, six, seven years, they, they have um, this number of patents every year. And I, I think this is a fairly large number, uh, not, not for the uh, electronics or, or IT companies, but the, for, for the uh, chemical uh, related companies and and of course as we see in the news uh, the PNG is fairly aggressive um, in, 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 in the patent litigation area 
but what it does is interesting. Okay, um, so uh, the, the previous CEO of um, uh, uh, P&G, uh, A.G. Raffley, he started the, um, uh, this Connect and Develop program. And the, um, uh, this is really an uh, open program. If you uh, have a chance to look at the, its website, it has its own website, you know, Connect and Develop website, uh, and the, um, uh, they are asking for the innovation from everyone, uh, not, not, not from those living in the United States, but also from Japan, China, and any other regions in the whole world. And, and they have, um, I've seen uh, Mr. Lafley speaking about this project. It was uh, difficult at the beginning to respond to a uh, timely manner for the, the submission of new ideas, new innovation from the public, but the uh, PNG built the mechanism to respond and to analyze and to uh, evaluate uh, the submitted uh, ideas and, and innovation. And, and so if you look at the website, they have a list of needs that PNG currently has, and there is information about how, for example, I can submit the uh, innovation. And, and also they have a display of um, the, the uh, innovation and, well, basically new products, new services that, that the PNG currently provide. And, and so, so the, um, uh, this is not just a lip service to, to the um, uh, uh, customers, but the, 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 they change the whole corporate uh, culture uh, based on this, this concept of uh, open innovation. And the uh, end result was successful. That's why the PNG is now very famous for um, innovation as an innovation company. The, um, another uh, example is this, this IMEC, the Inter-University Microelectronics Center, which was uh, founded uh, around 16 years ago in, in Belgium and, and by the uh, Belgian government, or, or they, they have Fra Flanders government, uh, local government, uh, in conjunction with the Belgian government. And now they have staff of um, 1,900 people, including more than 500 um, residents and, and, and guest researchers. And the, um, uh, they have very large revenues of uh, uh, 285 million euro uh, in, in last year. And the, uh, uh, it started with subsidies from the government, but now 80% of the revenue comes from the, the uh, uh, well, three major areas of uh, business that they do. Uh, the one is training, one is licensing, and the, the third is the most important, uh, is, is this um, uh, collaborative research project. And the, uh, well, this is a list of the things that, that this, this uh, uh, research institute does. And the, uh, the budget, as you can see, uh, increased fairly consistently until uh, two years ago. And the, um, uh, uh, the basic concept for, for the uh, uh, collaborative research with, with companies is, is shown in these two pictures. And, and they call it um, IMEC uh, Industrial uh, Application Pro uh, Program, Affiliation Program, excuse me. Oops, these buttons are getting confusing. Okay, uh, so, well, in, in this particular picture, the, the um, uh, three, four companies are uh, uh, 
contributing to this one particular research project. And they, they have, um, you know, sort of seed technology that uh, IMEC has developed. And, and the partner A, partner B, partner C, and partner D, or excuse me, five, five uh, companies, they, they uh, come together and, and usually they send one person or two persons uh, to this research institute and, and that's research. And, and the um, uh, IMEC uh, uh, expand you know, their the research base uh, based on this, this um, uh, collaboration. And the uh, five partners can freely use, uh, not exclusively, but freely use uh, the developed technology uh, within this circle. And what remains is what is left. You know, the, uh, uh, the partner B developed this, this bit of the uh, 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 research product based on, on the whole uh, IIAP program. And the uh, so th this is something they, they can uh, use for, for their, their competitive purposes, but the base technology is all, all, all shared. And, and this is the, uh, 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 the figure that shows the end of you know, this one particular research project. And, and so everything in the green is uh, co-owned by the IMEC and, and five partners. And, and the, the only the exclusive IP that, that partner B has is just outside of this, this green uh, circle. Okay. The, um, uh, so this is outbound type open innovation, very typical outbound type open innovation. Uh, and, and, and the uh, uh, and as I as shown you, you know, this, this program has been very successful. Um, the, uh, the last thing I want to discuss uh, is, is the um, uh, Japanese uh, efforts. Uh, this is fairly new, and, and we don't know, frankly speaking, where, where this will go. But uh, this is a, a, a fund created by the uh, Japanese government. And the... Um, it's, it's a partnership of the, the government. Uh, the government is providing most of the money at the moment with, with uh, 19 corporations. And the, uh, uh, this fund is, is to provide the, uh, uh, the financial and, and technological and, and the management support for um, uh, creation of next generation business. So it, it has it got a lot of money. Um, the, the, they initially capitalized at the um, uh, 1.2 billion U.S. dollars, and the uh, uh, but but it it does have the governmental guarantee of up to uh, eight eight uh, well 10, 10 billion U.S. dollars, and the. Um, uh, Currently, they have 13 investment projects. And the, uh, uh, well, they, they have, uh, well, for example, uh, water supply companies in Chile and, and Australia. And, and also, the, uh, they are funding a new Japanese low-cost carrier, uh, you know, airlines, and the uh, uh, also, they are supporting the international business for the uh, small or mid-sized companies. And the, on, on the pure fund side, uh, they funded, founded the um, uh, uh, LSIP. Uh, well, this is the uh, first uh, intellectual property fund for, for uh, in, in, I should say, in Japan. Um, and the uh, uh, in in connection in uh, cooperation with uh, 
IPSN. They, they, they are calling it themselves Ipsen, but uh, IPSN. This is the um, uh, company set up by uh, people who used to work for the uh, Japanese pharmaceutical companies, and they uh, think that they can help uh, venture companies, you know, in, in the biotechnology medical areas, and um, uh, they are going to fund uh, those companies based on the um, uh, patents or, or, or ideas or innovation they have within those small companies. Um, and this, this, these, these all projects are tied with the keyword of, of open innovation. They, wh what they want is, is collaboration among different companies and different uh, research institutes to uh, come up with new businesses. Okay, so um, from here, I jump a little bit. Uh, this is my uh, proposal, the, the just, just the, uh, 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 the idea that, that you want to think uh, about. Uh, and, and this is uh, what is important for innovation. And the, um, uh, a lot of people talk about you know, something like soft IP, uh, the IP intellectual property without um, uh, power of um, uh, injunction or, or, or you know, the, the IP with, with a, a, a enforced, the uh, uh, forced license. But the, as, as, I, as we have seen, uh, there, there is always competition element and, and we don't know where it is. You know, it, it can be at the very uh, low level, you know, with starting material level, but it can be um, at the service level. You know, th there are many different levels of competition. And, and if you want to keep the uh, structure of this, this competition or competitive environment, uh, patent requires some enforceability. And so uh, my, my thesis is that, that weak patents, weak uh, IP is not the solution for, for the open innovation environment. And the, uh, um, uh, another thing that, that uh, we tend to neglect is, is the uh, corporate structure and, and taxation. And the, uh, if you look at uh, how we operate, we do business, uh, it, it's fairly uh, largely driven by uh, tax incentives or, or tax motivation, and the um, uh, so so if 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 we want to develop a uh, new environment for uh, open innovation, we we have to change uh, basic corporate structures and the uh, uh, taxation systems for taxation to fit to this uh, open innovation environment. Okay, so that's, that's all for today, and, and um, uh, I'd like to thank you for, again, this, this opportunity, and, and thank you for listening.